Hi. In this video, I will show you how to install HA proxy on BIOS devices, so they can be utilized, as load balancers. I have already set up a simple network as part of the lab. At the moment, there are two subnets, segmented by the router R1. The router provides internet access to all devices on the network. Within the network, the client can access the web servers, directly on their IP addresses. At the end of the lab, what we want to achieve is have these web servers load balanced, on a single IP address, via a cluster of highly available HA proxy load balancers. Let's get started. Let's begin by adding the devices to the topology. Here's what we need. One switch, and one BIOS router device. We'll start with one load balancer device, and add an additional one later. We'll also label them accordingly to make the topology nice and neat. The subnet 10.1.3.0-24 will be only used as a transit subnet towards the load balancers. The subnet 10.1.200.0-24 is routed towards the load balancers and will be used for the virtual servers. Let's switch on the router immediately so it can start booting up in the background. While waiting for the added VIUS router to boot, let's start configuring the router R1. We'll configure interface Ethernet 3 with the address 10.1.3.124. We'll also add a static route to 10.1.200.024 towards the HA proxy device. Commit and save the configuration. Let's move on to the device HA Proxy 1A, now that it's booted up. We'll start with the configuration of interface Ethernet 0. Give it an address of 10.1.3.25324. Then we'll configure the interface to participate in a VRRP cluster. Editing the VRRP configuration in context mode, will save us some time. The configuration requires four parameters as a minimum. VRID, virtual address, interface, and priority. Set the virtual address to 10.1.3.25424, and the priority to 200, as this will be the primary load balancer. Create a static default route back to router R1. We can see now that the device is currently the master of the VRRP cluster. Lastly, 
create a dummy interface for the virtual server to listen on. Commit and save on the device, we'll go back to router R1 to test for connectivity. On router R1, we can reach the interface address at 10.1.3.254. The dummy, or virtual server address, is also reachable, at 10.1.200.0. Let's start transforming this Vyu's device into a real load balancer. Make sure the device has internet connectivity and able to resolve DNS queries. Add the Debian package source locations to the repository sources list. We are using Vyu's 1.3 which is based on Debian Buster. Once the list has been updated, run the apt update command. This will update the list of packages available for the system. Use the apt install command to install the HA proxy packages. Once the packages are installed, we'll start configuring HA proxy. Use the syskettle command to start and enable the HA proxy service. This will ensure the service starts every time the system is started. To enable the load balancer to bind to non-local IP addresses, we will need to make changes to the syskettle configuration file. Once that's done, we will now edit the HA proxy configuration file. We'll just append to the end of the default file, a basic configuration, consisting of a single virtual IP address in HTTP mode. The backend nodes will consist of the web servers in our network topology, load balanced in a round-robin fashion. Reload the HA proxy service using the syskettle command. We are done, let's go to the client device in our network topology to test connectivity. As you can see, the client now has connectivity to the virtual server on the load balancer. Refreshing the page on the browser also shows that requests are being load balanced towards the web server nodes. Now that we have finished configuring a single load balancer device, let's add another HA proxy to make our load balancing service highly available. Switch off the single device, so that we can duplicate it on our lab. Let's switch on the duplicated device and reset its configuration.
we will now reconfigure the VIU's specific settings on the device. Configure the interface address for Ethernet 0. Configure the VRRP settings for the interface. Set the priority to be 100 as this will be the secondary load balancer. Set a static default route back to the router R1. Lastly, set the dummy interface that the virtual server will listen on. Once everything is done, let's verify the HA proxy configuration remains intact from the duplication. The configuration looks good to go. Let's now run some tests, to see if we have configured everything correctly. Let's start by verifying the VRRP status on the secondary load balancer. It is currently in a backup state. Let's go to the client and start a continuous ping towards the VRRP virtual address. We'll then force a failover on the primary load balancer by cutting its connection in the topology. On the secondary load balancer, we can see that it has taken over the master role in VRRP. On the client, the continuous ping was still going, without any drops. This indicates that the VRRP failover was a success. Let's restore the connection to the primary load balancer. On the secondary load balancer, we can see that it has reverted back to the backup role in VRRP. On the client, the continuous ping was still going, without any drops, indicating, the failover back to the primary was a success. Let's now test HTTP connections to the virtual server address. With the primary load balancer up, we can see that load balancing is working properly. Let's force a failover on the primary load balancer by cutting its connection in the topology. On the secondary load balancer, we can see that it has taken over the master role in VRRP. On the client, we can see that load balancing is still working. Let's restore the connection to the primary load balancer. On the secondary load balancer, we can see that it has reverted back to the backup role in VRRP. On the client, we can see that load balancing is still working.
That concludes our lab and thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave your comments below. I'll be updating our channel with more videos and we'll be looking forward to see you here again.